Hi, my name is Gerald Perry. I am the Technical Marketing Engineer for Public Cloud Integrations at Palo Alto Networks. Today we like to discuss an architecture that we presented. This is called the Transit VNet architecture with the VM Series Next Generation Firewall for added security. In this scenario, we have three Azure Virtual Networks, or VNets, contained within an Azure region. We have workloads within each Azure, Azure Virtual Network to simulate out traffic that will need outbound access. How will we provide the outbound access here? Traditionally, the way to accomplish this would be to backhaul all of your traffic back to some sort of on-prem location, on-prem firewall to provide the security. This would be done over traditional ISP connectivity with VPN or connectivity of your choice. With this architecture, it does introduce some complications. One of the complications is unexpected latency. Because now you have to backhaul all your traffic back on-prem to your on-prem firewalls, which now have to go back into the virtual networks. And because you're backhauling all your traffic from the virtual networks to your on-prem firewalls, you now have to size your internet connectivity accordingly, which could be a lot more bandwidth than what you need for your on-prem networks. The way that we handle this is we want to bring your network security a lot closer to the virtual networks as opposed to bringing the virtual networks closer to your on-prem. And the way we do that is with the transit VNet architecture that we've designed and we've released now that's on GitHub. So we spoke a little bit about the challenges of backhauling traffic back to an on-prem network from virtual networks. So now we're going to talk about how we deal with this type of architecture with our Azure Transit VNet utilizing the VM Series firewall for next generation firewall services. Here you see a Transit VNet hub here. This Transit VNet hub will house a pair of VM Series firewalls. So for those of you that are not familiar with VNet peering, in Azure, virtual network peering is an easy way to connect virtual networks throughout the Azure framework. It also provides high availability and you're leveraging the, the Azure framework and all the capabilities of the cloud to accomplish this. So with virtual network peering, we don't need an overlay network. We don't need dynamic routing. We simply peer each virtual network and high availability is automatically accomplished because of that. Now, in conjunction with virtual network peering, we provide connectivity between the virtual networks using user-defined um, routes within Azure. These user-defined user routes are automatically added via the template. And what they do is they send all traffic from each virtual network to an internal load balancer, outbound load balancer within the transit hub. So what this does is regardless of how your workload is configured in the transit VNet spoke, the user defined route will basically tell it, this is where you need to go for outbound at connectivity. So what this does is this effectively gives us um, a way to control all outbound access and steer traffic from each virtual network to the VM series firewall for outbound connectivity. And this allows us to also provide visibility within the network for both east and west traffic and north and south traffic. Um, so if you have zero trust, um, zero trust policies within your network, this is in full compliance with that. Now for services that need to be accessed outbound, one of the options you have here with this architecture is to create a services VNet or virtual network where you contain your Windows software update services any apt get local apt get services or any repositories that go to the internet update um, patches software updates things of that nature pulls it down and that way your service can go directly to that location as opposed to going to the internet so as you can see here we take the exact same approach for east and west traffic as we do for north and south traffic because sometimes the traffic that is within the network is the traffic that we really need to understand the most. So we've discussed the transit VNet architecture and how we address outbound traffic. Now we're gonna discuss how we address inbound traffic to public facing workloads. 
as you can see here, we have a virtual network where everything's been erased. So we can add two VM series firewalls, and I'm just going to write VM. And we still have our workloads behind there. Now, how this architecture works is we have an external load balancer via the application gateway, and we also have an internal load balancer. The application gateway in this scenario is used as an external load balancer. By doing this, this allows us to leverage the power of the public cloud and the scal scalability of the public cloud to handle large spikes in traffic originating from the internet. So what this means is traffic will hit your application gateway first. If there are spikes in public traffic, Azure has the built-in framework to automatically scale their load balancers outbound to handle this. From that point, traffic will then go to the VM series firewall. From the VM series firewall, it will go to the internal load balancer. And from the internal load balancer, it will go to the public facing workloads. And outbound traffic will egress the exact same path that it came in. So there'll be no issues with state, any type of stateful firewalling on the way out as well. In this scenario, for traffic that originates from the virtual network, traffic will still egress out of the transit hub, which is important for zero trust um, policies that you have in place within your, your company. It has no impact on your in incoming traffic for public facing workloads. And what it effectively does is it segments all your outbound traffic and bandwidth requirements from your um, public facing workload egress bandwidth requirements as well. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information on our transit VNet architecture, please visit our live community public cloud page.